I expected a straightforward answer from you, but oh. you gave something different, you know. If I do only what you expect, why would I be needed here? There are 8,000 students on this campus. More than 50% of students are in research. Now 5,200 are in research. Yeah, I've done some research. <laughs> Should human race, especially in India, now stop reproducing and start adopting? But to adopt, somebody must be reproducing, right? Every morning when I get up, I find that there's these two voices. It says, you have time, and sometimes it says, you don't have time. You're married? Yes. Ah. <laughs> I understand what's the other voice. <laughs> no, no, all right yes. now, two-thirds of your body is water. So it does, right. it is me then? It is you. Okay. But then is it still you in the toilet after you pee it out as well? Uh, that's up to you to decide. Okay. <laughs> I have four kids. We live in a one-bedroom, you know, apartment in New York. You shouldn't have made four kids if you have only one bedroom. Hello. You know, your thoughts on extraterrestrial life. Or maybe you are one, who knows? Am I looking extraterrestrial? <laughs> I'm a little extra on the terror right now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen The Matrix? Let's start there. The movie? Well, I am The Matrix, huh? Are you afraid of dying? Are you serious? <laughs> Do I look like that? <laughs> and the child essentially being ostracized from the family because the, the child... Child is means what? An, an infant or a no, toddler? No, like a, essentially the child of the parents. So okay. I would still be a, a child of my parents. Okay. However, I'm 30 years old. Um. Oh, you didn't have to confess like that. I was thinking you were 16. <laughs> you ever taken a sip of alcohol? I don't need to because I'm always drunk. Ever take? E ever smoke weed? I'm always stoned. You've not seen my eyes yet. Physical body is always about boundaries. I'm sorry. My physical body is right now leaking a little bit. <laughs> I need to blow my nose. <laughs> when the gentleman asked you a question that how to build up the courage, uh, I expected a straightforward answer from you, but oh. you gave something different, you know. If I do only what you expect, why would I be needed here? <laughs> why you are giving the answers and I'm asking the questions? Because you have questions. <laughs> is whether God men are often con men? And how does this lady here know the difference between who's a godman and who's a conman? Why are you underestimating that lady? <laughs> Should human race, especially in India, now stop reproducing and start adopting children instead? But to adopt, and somebody must be reproducing, right? <laughs> what is research, especially in social science? Finding out things that your grandmother already knew. <laughs> <laughs> now... No, just a second. I'll have Javid Sadhguru, no, may, I, may I, may I, no, no, may I no, remain no the lecture. moderator? So this whole uh, presumption and the way this is going is coming from a certain fundamental presumption. Because even when I met ja Javid Sab last time, he was telling me that some guru told him not to use his mind. I do not know which guru said this. One thing is clear, the advice has been taken seriously. <laughs> As you said, we've touched a few million people, but uh, that is not my idea of humanity. What so, is your idea of my humanity? Well, 7.6 billion people right now. Now I'm condemned to be a failure in my life. But uh, I'm a blissful failure, but this is what I'm telling everybody, I bless you with failure because you must choose to do something that cannot be fulfilled in one lifetime. You take a few steps and others will take the next few steps. If your dreams come true, that means you have a bloody small dream. <laughs>